Hello everyone. Welcome to this very special episode of Creative Corner. Today, let me start with an interesting story. Uh, I heard this from a professor at Calcutta University in a conference. He recounted how he met Shotojit Rai at an airport. The flight was delayed and uh, Shotojit Rai was involved into doing something. So this professor went up to him. They knew each other before. So this professor went up to Ray and asked what he was doing. And Ray was actually uh, trying to translate uh, Abol Tabol by Shukumar Roy. So many years passed uh, after this incident and then this professor again met with Ray and asked what was the update on this Abol Tabol translation. So Ray finally confessed and said, Je, Ota Amar So the reason why I recounted this story is this. Today uh, we have with us Shohom Roy, uh, Shohom Datumi because we shared the same alma mater and uh, he uh, translated, he brought to, uh, to us the magical world of Harry Potter in Bengali. He translated three books, Widdish Through the Ages, Tales of Beedle the Bard, and uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So in this regard, Shonda, my first question to you, that there is a, there's a very narrow line between transcreation and translation. So when you started working on this project, uh, what was your approach? Well, initially I knew that uh some of it I have to transcreate rather than translate uh, given the culture gap of it uh, but as I went into the process of tra translation I saw that 90% of it was transcreation rather than trans translation because, uh, because adapting, there's a cultural yes yes shift yes there, the, there. adapting the, uh, the Western culture, that the fantasy world of that culture into the into Bengali, the Bengali fantasy, world. fantasy world was not an easy task uh, right. uh, to say the least. But uh, in this regard, I would like to ask you, uh, 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 what was your thinking? Uh, what elements uh, you wanted to keep intact and uh, what are the elements that you felt uh, needed uh, moderation or transcreation? Uh, well, I, I translated or I kept, I translated into Bengali as much content as possible, but the potions, uh, terms like potions, charms, and the, the spells, they could not be, they were, in, it was impossible to adapt those terms into Bengali. So I kept them as they are, I just transliterated those terms, and I thought that it's best to keep it that way. Uh, Shonda, uh, uh, trans, translation studies has become a very important aspect of studying literature mm. over the years. So uh, in our department, uh, we, we try to uh, teach the students through multidimensional approach with translation studies, film studies and various other uh, subjects as well. So uh, would you like to comment something regarding the career prospects uh, if someone uh, wishes to pursue translation studies in future? Of course, of course. The, as it happens, like uh, we have translation studies in our English department. That would help a person greatly to approach translation from uh, a wide, uh, will have a, a wider perspective and approach translation in a proper manner. So we try to inculcate that and uh, translation is a growing industry right, right now because I myself has been associated with a company uh, and I translated different kinds of content for different not publishers, I would say, different companies, uh, different kinds of companies. So, with then, globalization, right. yes, with globalization, there will be a rising there, there, demand of yes, translation. there will be a rising demand of translation because uh, local people want, local people would want to avail certain amenities, and companies would like to increase their business uh, by reaching out to the local people. In this regard, I would like to mention that uh, where Shwamda has been uh, involved with the translation industry for quite some time. And uh, in 2019, he translated Harry Potter and the Cursed Child into yes. Bengali. I remember uh, listening to one interview by Shunil rather lamented that in Bengal or in India often it happens that the author has no idea uh, that his work is being translated. Uh, so what 
what's your take on that regarding this author translation uh, translator collaboration yes this author translator collaboration is a brilliant thing if it is possible for me it was not possible i don't think jk rowling even knows that uh, uh, her work has been translated into bengali by a person there are here. some logistical challenges yes at yes time, yes uh, when it's international when it's this big right. but uh, if it's in the indian context uh, this reminds me of gabriel garcia marquez's 100 years of solitude it was initially written in marquez's own spanish. language in spanish, spanish. and then uh, I'm forgetting the name of the person who translated it into English. English. We all studied the uh, read the book in English, yes. and Marquez held his translator, his English translator, in very high regards. Yes. And also Tintin, we read Tintin in uh, yeah. English and, Bengo and later in Bengali. In Bengali. But the initially, it was written in a different language. So. Yeah. Tintin the, was uh, written in Belgian. Yes. We yes. first read the English and <laughs> then the Bengali came out. Yes. Uh, uh, Nirendra Chakraborty Nirendra. was the Bengali translator and he added some brilliant nuances by changing the name of Snowy to Kuttush. Yes. And yes. Uh, Thompson and Thompson to Johnson and Ronson. Mm -hmm. And especially the blistering barnacles to Pura Pushka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So, uh, yes. If the author and the translator collaborates, I think it would always help in grasping the essence of the content and then transfer it to the target language because in translation there is a, uh, a, tar a target audience a, a target yeah. language uh, uh, this language and a target language so uh, transferring the idea or the essence into the target language would become much more easy if the author and the translator collaborates uh, for me unfortunately it was not possible uh, but I'm looking forward to translate more works where I'm where I will try to collaborate with the authors and uh, produce better translation works. Right. In we are also eagerly waiting for your next translated works from the from various languages. Still, then we have to be satisfied with the fantastic beasts and where to find them, uh, tales from Beedle the Bird and uh, Quidditch through the ages. So. It was nice talking to you and thank you, thank you for joining us. So uh, stay tuned for more updates and if you like this video, like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.